this side of our pattern paper will be the center front. So I will write center front. On the top side of the pattern paper, I will square to mark our guideline. Now we will start to draw the neckline curve. From the center front on the guideline, we place the tip of the tape measure and go in 2.5 inches or 6.4 centimeters which we can round off to 6.5. Just make sure that you use the same conversion for the back pattern. We mark this and from this mark we will square down. Then we will go down one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. We will mark this. Now we will go down 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters, which we can round off to 7.5. We mark this and we square this outwards. Then we will go out one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. We mark this. From the corner, we will go up 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. This is on a diagonal manner. Now, with all these points, we can connect this with a slightly round curve line. We now have the neckline curve. For the medium figure, the shoulder measurement is 15 inches or 38 centimeters. We fold the tape measure twice to get one half of the shoulder measurement. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the center front on the guideline and we mark one half of the shoulder measurement. Then we will square this downwards with a colored pencil to 10 inches or 25.5 centimeters. Then we will get the shoulder slope. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the guideline on one half of the shoulder measurement and we go down one and three four inches or 4.5 centimeters. We mark this. Then we will connect these two points with a straight line. Now we have our neckline curve and our shoulder line. For the medium figure, we need to make a neckline adjustment. And we do this after we have established our shoulder line. This way we don't alter the angle of our shoulder line. So from here, we will go out one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter. And from this point, we will go down one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter. And from this point, we will go down one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter. Then we will connect all these points with a slightly round curve line. Now we will cross out the previous neckline curve. So this now will be our neckline curve and our shoulder line. Now we will get the armhole level. For the medium figure, the armhole level is 8 inches or 20.3 centimeters. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the guideline on one half of the shoulder measurement and we go down to 8 inches or 20.3 centimeters. Then we will square this outwards. So now we have the armhole level which is also the bust level. So we can get the bust measurement. The bust measurement for a medium figure is 34 inches or 86.5 centimeters. We fold the tape measure twice to get one-fourth of the bust measurement. We lay the tip of the tape measure 
on the center on the bust level and we mark one fourth of the bust measurement then we will add one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters for bust easing actually we borrowed this one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeter bust easing from the back bodice pattern so when we draft the back bodice pattern we will have to subtract this measurement please remember this now we will cross this out as we will have the bust easing in addition to the bust measurement now we will get the front chest level we do this by laying the tip of the tape measure on the tip of the shoulder slope and we fold the tape measure until the bust level we mark the center this now will be the front chest level we will square this outwards the front chest measurement is 13 inches or 33 centimeters for the medium figure we fold the tape measure once to get one half of the front chest measurement we lay the tip of the tape measure on the center on the front chest level and we mark the front chest measurement as you can see the front chest measurement should be for a sleeveless blouse one inch or 2.5 centimeters away from one half of the shoulder measurement so if you forget or you don't have the front chest measurement just go in one inch or 2.5 centimeters or even three-fourths of an inch or two centimeters just find out which is uh, better for your figure size or for your particular figure with these three points I can actually draw our armhole curve but I will give you more points to work on from here we can go down 3 fourths of an inch or 1.9 centimeters which we can round off to 2 centimeters then we will square this down with a broken line Actually, what we need is the corner or the right angle here. We need this right angle or corner so that we can go up to get the height of the curve for the armhole. For a medium figure, we can go up 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. Actually, this is just a guide. Uh, it will also depend on the bust measurement like for the medium figure the bust measurement is 34 inches or 86.5 centimeters to 35 and a half inches or 90.5 centimeters so the bust measurement may be up to here with the easing so this one the shape of uh, the armhole as I said this can just be your guide so it can go this way if the bus is up to here so uh, I'm just uh, explaining that this height is movable we don't have to stick to this mark this is just a guide now we can start drawing our armhole curve from here we do a slight curve line and then we follow this straight line and we go towards the guide and we do a slight curve line until the end of the bust measurement or the bust easing we now have our armhole curve